of all views and opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily represent those of NCTV, its officers and volunteers, or Cox Cable or Frontier Communications, their employees, or the town of Newington, its elected officials or employees. The producer of this program is solely responsible for its content. How are you? Steve Parker, good to see you again. You know, thanks for stopping by. You know, it seems like it's been so long since we've done the program. I guess we were on, like, October 1st was the last show, and now we're our second uh, Monday into uh, November, and that's because last Monday was uh, the night before the election, so we wanted to make sure we got clear of all that election stuff, and now it's all changed. We got a whole new, uh, whole new day starting up, but we still have this guy. He's still our mayor. Royce Arterian, congratulations. They voted you in again? Well, they didn't vote me out. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've got to go another year, right? <laughs> that's right. Nice to see you, huh? Nice to be back. How was our um, how was the overall uh, voter turnout in Newington? How did we do compared? They said that I this did, was a busy year. This was a very busy year. No, I don't have exact numbers, but I wouldn't be surprised it was close to a record turnout. Really? I, I think the record may have been for the referendum mm -hmm. for... Uh, putting the building on uh, Mill Park in 2014, I think it was. Oh, that was the building that was going to come yeah, down and crush yeah. the Mill Pond Park, as we know it. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, But it was a uh, big turnout, a uh, very high number of absentee ballots. That's really? what held up the final totals mm -hmm. is processing uh, not only the absentee <laughs> ballots, but also... About 100 or so Election Day registrations, which is very high, very mm -hmm. unusual, shows the uh, interest in this election was uh, surprising. Mm -hmm. But the people turned out. They turned out. Well, uh, we, we, do, uh, we do thank uh, Gary Byron for all of his uh, years of, of service and, and commitment to not just uh, to, uh, to the town, but also to Channel 14 for, for many years. Hopefully, Gary, you have a little bit more time, maybe come back in here now. And Maybe do a show with us. Hmm? But, uh, and best of luck to uh, Gary Turco. I don't know Gary that well, but I do know he, um, he came up my driveway and uh, uh, spent a few minutes chatting. But yeah. uh, um, it, was a, it was a shocker because I'm just so, uh, you know, I try to be, you know, pretty, pretty much down the middle. I vote both sides. And, but I will say Gary Byron's just such an, such an incredible job. But, it uh, is. It, you know, it is. Uh, it was a very close election. I think the final margin was something like, 65, 66 votes. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Boy, that was close. Yeah. yeah but we haven't heard the last from him because he did oh, an incredible no, job no, up at the no, Capitol. No, okay. Gary Byron's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. You know, it's funny when you see somebody in a different light here because, you know, I've always seen him here at Channel 14 and around town. Yeah. And <clears throat> But when he went up to that Capitol, boy, he wasn't afraid and no. just got right out there in a great, great uh, face and a great attitude about Newington. Absolutely. I don't uh, kind of miss him, but maybe he'll return my calls. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was well, always maybe, so hard. Maybe, but get, maybe get, he doesn't return them for a reason. Oh, really? Maybe, yeah. You know? Yeah, now and then I'm just <laughs> looking for a gimme. But, uh, yeah, Gary was uh, Gary was always there. And I thought, as you and I had spoke before the uh, program, you know, Sandy Nafis had done such a great job, and I thought Gary would have a big challenge, but he stepped right into the shoes there and did you a great job. You. So, Gary, uh, we wish you the best of luck. And, Gary, we wish you the best of luck. Right down the middle there. Yeah, that's right. We got Gary and Gary. Gary and Gary. Well, somebody said that could have been an issue too. So, how have you been? I've been just peachy dandy. Yeah. Hard to believe that next week is Thanksgiving. Unbelievable. The uh, year is just zipping by. Mm -hmm. um, did you did you really think that um, um, it was going to not happen this year? What Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. No, I know it's pretty much. Happen. I just didn't expect it to happen so soon. Well, you know, it's it's funny. You know, you it happens every year where we start laughing about it. Go, oh, yeah, Halloween. They already got the Christmas thing. Yeah. They always do. 
Oh, really? yeah. Like, and we're already starting to see, uh, I guess they're they're getting ready for a big push for uh, for the food here in town at the food, oh, yeah. uh, at the food yeah, bank like they always that. are. Human services will be doing that, preparing their uh, holiday pantry mm -hmm. uh, effort. They, they've got a good cadre of volunteers to help with that. So it's one of our outstanding programs. What have you got what, on what your you, tie? What have you got? I thought maybe I spilled something. What are those? They're little birds. They're like, they look like they're little. They look like they're little. We, we went through them. this with Vicki Rosencrantz in the green room. Do we have to go through it? Yes. Remember yeah. that show, Vicki Rosencrantz in the green room? <laughs> I used to love that. I always watched it on Thursday nights. It was really, really great. That's right. Oh, that's that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really, uh, really caught my eye. That's so you brought uh, you brought a guest with you tonight, well, huh? Well, let me tell you, I brought with me uh, the chair of the town hall renovation building committee, Joe Harpy, who the really most, needs no introduction. He's the most popular man in town. Yeah, well, yes, he is. <laughs> uh, one, one, or at least one of the best known. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, I know we had the election, et cetera, et cetera. This is our next great milestone. We're ready to go to bid. Ready to go to bid for the town hall renovation, pardon me, reconstruction project. Oh, it's reconstruction. The, the uh, existing building will ultimately be demolished, replaced by a new building in the existing parking lot that is between the town hall and the library. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And uh, So now, wait a minute. So... So how does this happen, Joe? How did you how did you get into this position? You've been involved. Have you been involved in the town for many years, as far mm. as these kind of projects go? Yes, or you've been when, involved um, for many years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, good evening. Steve. Oh, good evening. Nice to see you. Oh, pleasure to see you. <laughs> uh, of course, as you may recall, I was on the town council for a number of years yep, in the yep. board, and I did serve on committees, mm -hmm. for, uh, which included, you know, a number of schools that were either being uh, added on to. Yep or there were interior designs being made, and then we did the athletics field. You remember the old Zop property? Oh, yeah. I was involved with that, Mayor Randage. Oh, yeah, battle, that was the, that the, was the thing, that, the project that, uh, that would never, ever go yes. away. Yeah. Yes, God bless his soul. Mm -hmm. Not Mr. Randage, uh, <laughs> Mr. Zop. Yes, but, right. Uh, anyway, we didn't make any friends those days either, but <laughs> we, did, we did do a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, had some time on my hands after I got out of banking. Yep. And uh, so the committee became uh, reinvented by the council in terms of its reconstitution number of members. Mm -hmm. And so I had a conversation with some of the people and uh, thought I could help. And one thing led to another. And here I am. So now, <laughs> how long have you been involved uh, running this, watching over this project? Uh, well, Chris Miner. Yep. I was the chairman before me who mm -hmm. did a great job and still is very helpful as a town councilor on the project. So I would say uh, on and off about two years between vice chair and chairman. And uh, it's been a la the last 14 months have been very difficult uh, in terms of challenges that the project had to go through, as mm -hmm. you recall. We couldn't settle for a very long time with the Board of Ed and how they wanted their floor designed. We had to take care of uh, parking for the library. Uh, well, we wanted to take mm -hmm. care of the library at, at, during the construction period, mm -hmm. and that's what you see going on now. And there were a number of discussions with the trustees at that particular time. <clears throat> so there were, there were a lot of issues that took us off the main focus, but yet had to be addressed. Right. And now I believe uh, We've uh, reached the top of the mountain, mm -hmm. that those are pretty much satisfied and we can move forward. Uh, the council negotiated an agreement with the Board of Education as well to leave fewer buses on site or at least fewer buses at the lo on the long side. The 25-foot yep. yep. buses will remain and their maintenance garage will remain. The area that was damaged by the, the yep. spill, Yep. can I say that? Yep. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Everybody um, knows that, about that, it anyway. that that material has been uh, corrected, as yep. you know, and so we're going to use that a good bulk of that for laydown space mm -hmm. for the vendors who win contracts and the tradesmen to oh, put okay. their materials down. Okay, and we're hopeful that will all work out. <clears throat> so now, as the mayor was saying, we're ready to go out. You know, uh, Houston, we have uh, 
left off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is where we are. That's the way I feel about it. Yeah. And uh, we're in a point now where over the next several weeks, Downs will prepare the bids, review the bids, and then go out to bid. And then we have to see that the next big milestone is to get a guaranteed maximum price because it's a construction project. <clears throat> For those out there who may or may not know, there are several different delivery processes you can take for a building. And this committee decided, and then followed suit with other committees, that we would take a construction manager at risk with a guaranteed maximum price. So. Uh, in in, in short me, number, sorry, what, I'm sorry. What did that mean? Okay, what you just that said. That means that once that guarantee maximum price is agreed to by the committee and mm -hmm. the council and the, and the construction manager Downs, they're locked in. They have to deliver it for the 28 eight. Okay, uh, or whatever number that we agree to. But we can't we can't overspend the referendum. Okay, so the voters can take comfort in the fact that. We cannot spend more money within the referendum and project-focused uh, situations. Anything within the purview of the project that's in that budget can't be overspent. So we can't overspend the referendum. Uh, there are parts of the project that aren't within the scope of the project. For example, the council early on um, decided that the library portion to make it a, to make the project ready for construction that 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 parking would be taken over by the town supervised by the town the development would be bid by the town and funded through another source because it's not within the scope of the project okay um, 28.8 million dollars does not include the cost of the library parking right project. that's a separate and that, item under capital improvement right. fund, I assume. And that's under construction right now. Anybody who drives by the library, comes right. to the front entrance yep. of the yep. town hall, will see the fencing up, we will see the heavy equipment, right. and hopefully so the we'll get it done before the first snowfall. Excuse me, is the parking lot going to be to the right of the library? That's what's going on over there? Uh, as uh, I look at the library? As you're looking at it, yes, that's what it is. That's the... Uh, the new parking lot. That will right. stay as a library parking lot. Now, are they talking about making the library bigger at some point in time? Where are we at with that? It's, there is a public building committee for a library expansion, but they haven't come forth with anything definite yet. That um, parking lot space will, some of it will be used for the expansion because, as I understand the preliminary <clears throat> plans, the uh, uh, the expansion's going to be to the south. That would be onto the new parking lot. Uh, oh. Lose a few parking spaces, but hey. pick up more space inside. All good stuff. If you're just tuning in, this is the uh, Talk to the Mayor program. This being the uh, 12th of November, the day after Veterans Day. And happy Veterans Day out there. And thank you to all of those men and women who have given so much and given their service to this country. And, of course, those who have... Uh, lost their lives in battle that uh, are looking down from above. Thank you, one and all. We thank our veterans. Um, if you have any questions about this specific project, there have been a lot of questions about the, uh, the what's going on with our renovation. Right? Yes. Okay, renovation. I want to make sure new I call it the right thing. Uh, pardon me? New construction. New construction. New construction. <laughs> new construction. <laughs> Despite the name of the public building committee, it is new construction. New construction. And uh, if you would like to, uh, if you have any questions, 667-5814 is our uh, studio line. And uh, if you have any questions, please call in. 667-5814, 667-5814. Vicki is uh, Rosencrantz. Of course, you know Vicki. Vicki is watching the phones in there tonight. Because sometimes we have some difficult issues, some technical stuff. So you can just give the question to Vicki and she'll pass it on through. 860-667-5814. This is the uh, 12th of November. We are live uh, just uh, about 20 after. Or seven or so, so we'll be here till uh, till the show's over. Eight six zero six six seven five eight one four. Any questions you have about the uh, about the things that are happening at the town hall or the library, or anything else? Joe Harpy is with us, and Joe is the chairman of the project building committee and uh, in charge of the uh, town hall reconstruction. Yes. New, so construction. Huh? New construction. Huh? New construction. New construction. <laughs> New construction. Yeah, right. Renovate. You know, they're doing some work over there. All right. So if you have any questions you'd like to ask Joe or you like if to I ask If I say the reconstruction of the meeting, my members get upset, so I'm uh, going to keep it at new construction. New construction. Okay. <laughs>
You guys, how many members do you have? How many people are involved with this committee? Seven of us, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, two of which are town councilors, mm -hmm. Mr. Marikini and Beth Dubuno. Mm -hmm. um, but they all have various experiences in terms of building at one level or another. So it's uh, Rod Mortensen. Oh, yeah. Is yeah on. Rod is so, there. Um, Parks and Rec is uh, well known. Mr. Don Woods. Oh, yeah. He's a member. Yep, yep. So, I should tell you there's really good news because we finally got the uh, okay from the state of Connecticut to proceed with bidding. Okay. And that happened just a week or so ago. And that will hopefully net us a grant anywhere from a million to a million four hundred thousand dollars from the state of Connecticut uh, into the new building. Okay. So that's, that's really good news. Uh, the downside of it is, if there is a downside when you get money that you weren't expecting to get, mm -hmm. is that it comes at the end of the project. So there won't be any types of progress payments into the project. Okay. Uh, but I think you, you know it's a good thing to be able to say to the citizens of Newington that we were able to gain a million to a million four. And that's a result of the Transition Academy mm -hmm. and the Board of Education area. Mm -hmm. That's what they focused on the state. And so that's, that's, that's what we had to, what they call unpack. We had to break down the cost of putting that school, the uh, administration area into the building as well as keeping the transition academy or keeping both within the building. And the state was very cooperative. It wasn't an easy process, but I can't say enough about the professionals mm -hmm. uh, that worked with us from the state. They were very, very... Um, innovative in terms of their approach and very, very helpful. So, Mr. Mayor, how do you stay in the loop on all this stuff? You get updates all, all the time? Are you well, at yeah. the meetings? or? Uh, I, I'm an ex officio member of the building committee, so I'm on the mailing list. Mm -hmm. And if I have a question, I just pop next door and ask Tanya Ling, the town manager, and mm -hmm. she gives me the answer. Uh, one thing I think we should note is that Joe mentioned the Transition Academy. Uh, their existing quarters in the town yeah. in this town hall are slated for demolition as part of the new construction process. They will be lo uh, relocated for the next 18 to 24 months during construction in a modular building in the parking lot by the uh, New Meadow Elderly Housing that's attached oh, okay. to the Senior Center. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, I know there had been some fussing about having this building there yep. uh, from the neighborhood. But I went and took a look at it, and it, it really looks nice. Uh, there's been a lot done on the exterior to, to, to make it a, uh, an acceptable temporary addition to the uh, to the. Uh, in area to the vicinity. Uh, interior, of course, will have to meet all sorts of codes, and I don't think we'll have any problems with shouldn't, that. Our facilities be. managers on top of that. So do you just, excuse me, do you just drive into, tell me how... Uh, you drive into the senior center yeah. entrance, yeah. keep going straight, and then on the right okay. is a small parking lot. At the end of that parking lot, toward Wells Drive, oh, yeah is where the modular building is located. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, very nice. It's <coughs> close to utilities. That, that was a major factor. Some other sites were looked at, such as Wallace School. But the cost of connecting utilities because of distance uh, made those locations uh, overpriced for the purpose. So. So who's We're, moved into Center School now? Some that's of the uh, human well, capital development. Yeah, the human, uh, also known as personnel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they too were in the old engineering area of the town hall. Okay. And uh, they're renting quarters now at the old Center School. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be there at least through the construction peri uh, period. Um, of course. We'd expect them to move back, but what happens in two years is anybody's guess. <laughs> so now once this goes out to bid, uh, so we're, this bid process is yeah. we're looking for the company that's going to do this thing, right? Yeah. Or companies. Or be, companies, yeah, so more be, than one company can be in on it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to pay attention to the <clears throat> set-aside program, which is minority companies. Mm -hmm. That's part of 
the city's approach and the state's okay. approach. And we are also going to look at holistic approaches in terms of larger companies that do a number of different services, like site development and, and uh, structural work. And there are a number of services they provide okay. that they'll provide in the bid, but it's one company. But they also have subs. Downs is uh, also interested in hiring local people. Good. So oh, they'll let the contractors very glad, very know if, uh, you know, just to name uh, a company that we all know, a gentleman in Newington that's lived here for years, doesn't live here now, but has a very active electric company. Uh, he would have an opportunity to bid and people like him that are have their companies located here in town. Mm -hmm. uh, in many cases, not all, but in many cases, they'll get a look-see from mm -hmm. the general contractor under the leadership of Downs, mm -hmm. and that was part of the reasons, of reasons, a number of reasons that we we selected Downs is because they were going to provide opportunities for local businesses. And, and what's the name of that company? T O W N E S Downs Construction in New mm -hmm. Britain, Connecticut. They built the police department. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we find that beneficial as well. And uh, as that process moves forward, um, we'll provide you more information on it. But the key, the next big milestone for us is to get to the, through the bidding process, and then have the established guaranteed maximum price. And that's, that's the real uh, leverage of moving this project forward, that that guaranteed maximum price has to be within what the voters approved. Which is the 28.8. Or, yeah, or it's going to get rejected. <clears throat> and then we'll have to go through a number. But right now, the numbers look good. They look good. And we're told by not only Downs, but other people in the business that this is going to be a good time to bid because a number of these companies into the cold of the winter mm -hmm. Are, are getting their numbers ready for spring work. Mm -hmm. So with all the delays, uh, this is actually working out to our advantage right now on the bidding, so we're told. What's a ballpark idea? I mean, average front once the bid goes out to when we'd actually be able to break ground? Uh, we're going to um, mobilize the site in mid to late January. Okay. Mobilize the site. Take, what does that take, mean? Take over that whole parking area okay. in front of the old building, mm -hmm. fence it off, put down certain pieces of equipment. Then we'll have the trade come in, come in uh, to the site that won the bids, mm -hmm. and they'll look over the spots. They'll take certain areas for their equipment. We're going to secure that whole area. So that's the mobilization mm -hmm. for the construction. And then the next big date you'll see, Steve, is in March, sometime in early March or middle March, we're going to do the first big kick of this project, which is the controlled selective demo of where the Transition Academy is now. That's 5,000 square feet. Yeah, and I guess these are smart bombs they use. I was about to say, yeah. slow selective Be demo. Because these guys go in, <coughs> Anna Ford is one, just to name one, uh, they can go in and laser this thing. It's almost like a laser approach. They'll take that section out without doing any damage to the, to the other employees' area, employees' areas of the building, or to the com existing community center. Now, we may have to work out a plan where they're not on site when this goes on, and that would be the preference of the committee. We want to make sure these so, people are safe. That laser was a little to the left. Sorry about that, Bob. So, yeah, you don't want to go home with that story. Hey, honey, how was your day? Let me tell you. Yeah, it won't be good. But, uh, you know, uh, so uh, that's going to be a big step for us. And uh, we're well positioned for that. We've been planning it very, very carefully. And we need to do that. You'll ask, well, why do you have to take a piece out so early? Because you're going to leave the main building up there. We need it for space mm -hmm. to build a new building. That, that, that was the one Achilles heel that we had to resolve to get that piece out. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we're going to do it. Now, will we lose use or access to the gym while that wing is coming down? They say very limited, right. and we have not uh, we have not uh, really gotten all the detail on that. That'll right. come in on the bids. My assumption would be that we will have some, uh, maybe a few days a week right. where there'll be some issues uh, sure. because we have to have safety first, absolutely, and then get through the process. But but the focus and goal is to have that active and open. 
the community center. Mm -hmm. And the, the experts in the field haven't told us that can't be done or can't happen. And they understood that we had to keep that going as well as we keep the assessor's office open right. and the whole issue. And, and just just office. quickly, right, the tax office, well, <laughs> the tax office is important too, for sure. Depending whether you're going in or going Yeah, in. right, right, right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in any event, all of this is called swing space, what the mayor referred to with um, the Transition Academy and human capital being relocated, because that's the area we're going to take the cutout. We want to be mm -hmm. fair to the board and fair to school administration and give them really long lead notice on that selective demo. They had to have it, and that's why those situations have been there. But as you know, as the mayor knows and you know as following this, we were, we, early on, we were stuck with the dilemma of having to consider taking the, this building down, mm -hmm. relocating everyone somewhere else. Us. Us? Well, not you. Okay, yes. 14? <laughs> Even you. Even 14? Yes. Even 14. Everybody was going to be kind of shotgunned out to areas unknown at about a price of over $2 million. Wow. So we said, no, that can't happen. <clears throat> And it's always safer. To, my, my experience in this industry from my professional business and everything else is it's always safer to leave up what you have until you build mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. new because there are an awful lot of gambles. Now, is that, is that gymnasium going to be gone and everything? Is that all going to yeah, be gone? Yeah, that's all going to be gone. Are we going to have a new gym? I know. Yeah. Did we bring, do we have pictures? Um, I sent some in. I don't know if they got electronic or not. There's a virtual walkthrough. Yeah, oh, that. okay. There's something when you come in here to the town hall, right? Yeah, yeah. and then we have a virtual walkthrough, and I think it's on that now. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I thought you were going to have it here tonight, but whatever. I, I but. sent it in. I don't know if it got con Well, we do All have slides. Right. Okay, the, the control room finally woke up. Yep, okay. Okay, we're getting the slides ready. Hang on a second. You're going to love these slides. The uh, community center, I can tell you, and the gym in particular, is built under national um, standards for the size, the layout of the court. Um, oh, yeah, here's the grand hallway. Wow, it's beautiful. Um, and that's a very functional area, an attractive area. And there are offices. Who's the guy on the left with the tie? Oh, these uh, these are models. Yeah, real real people these from are, town, right? These are cartoon. <laughs> figures. Oh, cartoon figures. Okay, good. I was just wondering. Well, this is uh, this is a areas that'll have like tax. I said wherever there's a uh, need for public access, okay. public windows right. have them all oh, consolidated really? in one area instead of having things town all clerk, over assessor's the place. office, things yeah, assessor, like that. town clerk, registrar. And you just make a straight walk down. Yeah. Okay, that. so let's say for instance the way that we're thinking about doing this with this grand hall. The opening on the left, where we see a gentleman sitting there, and this person on the right that is obviously taking care of it, what would those two areas be? Just for instance, I mean, would that be? Ta tax and assessor. Okay, so instead of going into a room, I would go right, right up to that right-hand right right side right. To, to pay my taxes and there'd or whatever. be an area, if you need to have a conversation, there would be an area to the side of that you could go into. Okay, I got you. Or sit down. Yeah. So if you really want to make a point about you're upset about the taxes, that's the room you go into. <laughs> right. Now, so where, um, when I enter um, to this grand hall, will, be, uh, will I be entering from where I enter the town hall now, Mr. Mayor? You would be entering from the west side. The building will be flipped 180 degrees okay. so that the entrance will be on the police department side oh, rather than the library side, the main entrance. So the main entrance will be which side? Well, you can come into the main entrance directly from the library. Oh, I got yeah. you. Okay. Uh, keeping in mind that the community center is closest to Mill Park, yeah. Mill Pond Park, okay? So okay. you're the second building, but you would see it directly from... So if you you would park, actually parking is in is behind, the bulk of the parking will be behind, be behind the building. Okay. Um, that's... That's a view of the rear end of the building. This is yeah, the library side here? That's the library side. Right. Okay, so. And so you would make an entrance there, and that would take you into the grand hallway. And then you would see those various offices. The, the um, I don't know if it's pictured here. If you go to the next slide, it may be pictured. Um, Have we got another slide after this one, guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, those are the council chambers. That's on that first level. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
And that room can be expanded. Whoosh. The concert chambers can be expanded. Okay. Up to uh, over 200 people or more. Nice. By moving these uh, areas of um, division, mm -hmm. they're, they're suspended and they roll down. Um, and then there's the Helen Nelson room that adjoins that area. It's still okay. be called the Helen Nelson room. And that's also for public meetings and whatnot. That can all be expanded through section mm -hmm. divides. We so that, we feel, is um, something that we took a lot of input on, mm -hmm. and we wanted to make it accessible in terms of hearing and seeing to the public, mm -hmm. because many times they say they can't see um, what's up on the you know, oh, yeah. being presented yeah. in terms of uh, any um, yeah. visual issues or things like that. So this this should be this is, should be a perfect fit with all the issues related to any levels of um, shortcoming that we now see in terms of the council chambers. I mean, it'll be brand new, first of all, but yeah. secondly, it'll be more user friendly in terms of hearing, visual, uh, any visual screening presentations and things like that. Now, what about, um, and I don't, I don't even know if this has been a discussion yet or not, but um, with this, with this building, would there be any reason why we would have maybe, like um, uh, Bob Randich's office probate brought into the town hall, or will that always stay off-site at another place? You know, I think that was, um, I'm just going to say, a political decision made okay. somewhere along the line to leave it separate. Yeah, and that's from somebody that. else's decision. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yeah, because probate's been out of that. here for a yeah, long time. For years. Yep. 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 Uh, yeah. when, uh, that's just because I'm that, looking that, at this, and it reminded me of a courtroom. Yeah, right. That's what made me think right. Of it. Then right. it was uh, social services when they were expanding and needed the probate court oh, yeah. space. Now, where's social services going to be? The, they'll be on. Uh, they'll they're have still, a separate entrance, I believe. Yeah, won't they? yeah. They're going to have. As you go back to the original slide, they'll have a separate entrance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that you'll go into for confidentiality of okay. families yep. and things yep. like that. Yeah, so they'll, they'll be, be on the first level. And we're going to have more room for our food bank than we have now. Yes, we we've will expand to that area too. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. In a, in a more efficient pickup and drop off area for food and nice. stuff. Yeah, in the back area near mm -hmm. the police department. Now, this is uh, one big gym that I see over there. Is this actually uh, multiple gyms? Here's what goes on with the gym there are two high school courts, 84 by 50, which fits the national standard. And um, there'll also be uh, a walking track in there. Nice. Uh, there'll be accommodations to expand uh, the participation by various groups <clears throat> in volleyball and things like that that go on at the community center services. And in terms of games, there'll be an area in the middle, uh, area two, for, uh, to could be closed off at any given time that they decide to do it for lower level basketball okay. for mm -hmm. younger children, junior high school situations. Yep. Uh, the plan currently has six baskets on each side, plus the two for mm -hmm. uh, the larger courts. And I understand that uh, Parks and Rec would like to step that up to eight, plus really? the mainframe uh, hoops for the larger courts. So we're discussing how to get that in, possibly under um, uh, some other form of financing it or looking at it under an alternative uh, situation. The bleachers um, are north and south, as you can see, mm -hmm. and they'll, con uh, I'm sorry, east and west, as you can see. So they accommodate 200 on each side. And then uh, it has potential capacity or ultimate capacity between 900 and 1,500 uh, capacity, 1,500 individual capacity, which is mind-blowing uh, in terms of where how that would yeah. settle when people yeah. came to the site, if they come to the site. But uh, I have a lot of confidence in Parks and Rec to work out those situations, mm -hmm. how they work them through the process when one group plays versus the time another group plays. But as an aggregate, at the end of the day, you may have 900, but you're not going to okay, have 900 I got you, I got you. at one shot, you know. So, but this they takes used some to of the do that at the old Weaver High, well, the new Weaver High okay. that got torn down on Granby Street in Hartford. Mm -hmm. They had like 1,500 capacity, but not everybody was there at once. Okay. They chained okay. them in. 
So um, I should tell you that also the Parks and Rec Department, Billy DeMales, made a request for, uh, for, of the Project Building Committee to evaluate a bump out to make the community center a little larger than was originally drafted in the plan so that he can accommodate more seating capacity than is, mm -hmm. in, the, that is in the original plan. And we have put that in the design, um, the build out, the, the, a little more build out space. Uh, and the architect has finished that design and we have it as a bid alternate. And uh, it's around $400,000 to do a slight, what they call, bump out, make mm -hmm. it somewhat bigger to fit the capacity, to fit mm -hmm. the need. So we think that'll all come together for Parks and Rec, and they, Billy had a list of questions that I um, had our service providers respond to in connection with that and other issues. So mm -hmm. that's all coming together. It's a very technical thing, as you can imagine, given all the equipment mm. and, and all the people they service, so they want to make sure uh, that what we do the, it what right. About, excuse me, what about the teen center? Are we going to have a new teen no center? No teen center. No teen center no. at all. Okay. No. Although Mr. DeMeo said that he felt he had accommodations with this, this structure to uh, use one of the other rooms, there'll be a um, room uh, for pre K students, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm saying that right, Mayor, for the younger kids. And then uh, there'll be uh, some other areas for <clears throat> his meeting rooms, et cetera, that you aren't penciled out here. But uh, they'll, they'll provide enough capacity. He had mentioned that he'll accommodate those issues, but they just won't be called a teen center yeah. initially anyway. So. Okay, so now we're going to get this thing done another year, two years, whatever, till it's all finished and wrapped up. And everybody says, wow, this is really nice. We've got it done. What are you going to do? What are they, what, what other, <laughs> I mean, you know, really. Well, Besides I keep, breathe? I keep you busy somehow. Yeah. Are there other pour, projects? Pour, pour himself a stiff drink <laughs> and put his feet up. Are there other projects that are in the works once we get this? Is it the library or what's next after this? I mean, uh, what are, what's the town in I, need of right now? You know, that's a better question for uh, the, the chairman of the Capital Projects Committee. Um, well, we, we, we do I have... Mean, I, I don't know what the planning is. I've, <clears throat> I've briefly seen your... your yeah, the, uh, the, the, the town hall is the big one. Yep, yep. Um, once that's underway, the council did, <clears throat> and if I, it was the last council, agreed that once town hall was put to bed, mm -hmm. attention would turn to the Anna Reynolds mm -hmm. School. Oh, wow. Renovation. It's the only school that hasn't been renovated mm -hmm. yet. So that's a big one on the I'll horizon. Bet. We uh, still be looking at the um, library expansion, and uh, I know their their building committee does continue to mm -hmm. meet. So there's another one. Uh, maybe we could combine them for bonding. I, I don't know. It depends on timing of everything. Do we have a need for? Um, I know we've talked about this in the past. Is there a need for another firehouse? I don't mean to, I don't mean to fix up a new one, but possibly go to like a company five or something. Do we well, do we have enough apparatus I, to cover? I, I, I think right now there's enough. Okay. Uh, I haven't heard of anything to the contrary from the fire department. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we'd be taking a look at as well would be the state of the two swimming pools at, at the parks, Churchill, yeah, Churchill yeah. and Mill. Mm -hmm. Again, and nothing has been decided. Everything's just in the discussion, discussion and conjecture yeah. stage right mm -hmm. now. Could very well end up consolidating to one new pool at either Mill or Churchill, mm -hmm. rather than trying to maintain two of them. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait and see. Me, I learned to swim in the uh, mud hole at church also. I, <laughs> I see nothing wrong oh, with Oh, we've been there. Oh, yeah. I, I see nothing wrong with They used to put the screen your, under there to keep the snapping turtles back. Yeah, well, well, you keep your toes away from the snapping <clears throat> turtles. Yep, that, yep. That, that's a good way to learn to swim. That was, that's where most of us learned how to swim. <laughs> we were so happy when, they, you know, when there was actually a cement pond up there. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. And that was a boy, yeah. the Churchill opened up. Now, speaking of which, um, one of the names that always comes up a lot and has done a lot of work here in town, and are they being looked at for this new project? Is it Castle Bows or what, is that the name of the company? They were the original yeah. architects. 
I know they did for Churchill, the, right? For the first two building committees, uh -huh. I was uh, in office when Joe's building committee was formed, yep. and we decided everything was going to be completely new. We were okay. going to, we, we, we took the broom and literally swept clean mm -hmm. as far as the, I know it sounds harsh, but as far as the building committee membership and the yep. architect and everything else, yep. we're starting over mm -hmm. from page one. Yeah, no, I just no, knew that. No I, reflection on Castle Booze. No, I just know that. Uh, I, oh my gosh, I remember John Castle was my neighbor for many years, yeah. and they did a lot of a lot of work here in town and yeah. in the surrounding towns. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's so there's a lot of new blood coming into you this know, one. Yeah. Then, huh? yeah, new new blood, new perspectives. This will be my last committee, though. Uh, oh, come on now. He says that. Pshaw. <laughs> don't put the, You don't want to say that now, but you know you're just going to. I'm announcing it this evening. <laughs> yeah. It's the old day. Pull me back in, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I, uh, I certainly does, wish you the best of luck. It doesn't count if you say it here. <laughs> well, anything else that. that, that well, that, <laughs> is the there, control room says that's because nobody's watching. Well, you know, the whole thing is people want to know. These are, these are the things we got to cover. That's right. That's right. Now, what else is happening in town, Mr. Mayor? Anything that we need to be aware of? Oh, hey, you know, well, we've got Thanksgiving next week. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, town hall, that's on November 22nd. Town hall will be closed the next day, 23rd. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but we've got some big events coming up. We've uh -huh. got uh, the visit with Santa Friday, November 30th. It's 5 to 7 at the Mortensen Community Center uh -huh. while it's still standing. Uh, this Saturday, December 1st, the next day, first Saturday in December. Winter Wonderland, 1 to 3 at the Mortensen Community Center. Winter Wonderland? Yeah. Is this something new? No, they've had this. What do they do uh, there? Uh, you, you, children have an opportunity to take a ride on animatronic animals. Oh. Games, clown, juggler, and uh, people who come are asked to bring some canned food for the food pantry. Terrific. And the big one to let us know it's really the holiday season is the evening of Saturday, December 5th, uh, 1st. Lighting of the holiday lights in the center at 5 p.m. On December 1st, okay. That's mm -hmm. right. The, mm -hmm. the carol singing tree lighting mm -hmm. with the absolutely fantastic parade of fire apparatus okay. all decorated. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Each, each company sends mm -hmm. a truck in. Mm -hmm. So that's coming up uh, the, uh, December 1st, and it's almost here. Yep, and then, of course, we got the third, the Talk to the Mayor program for oh, December. Oh, December 3rd, that's right. That's always, that's always a big thing. No, I'll be here for period. that. Oh, so will I, I hope. <laughs> we all hope, yeah. You, you know, we, we always... We should bring Santa uh, to that one. Always mm -hmm. the uncertainty, what the fates have in store for <clears> us. <throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, have you been to the Mediterranean market yet? You know, I was going to ask you about that. How's the Mediterranean market the and Medi where is it? The Mediterranean market's on um, the corner of Maine and Stoddard, say, block of buildings is King Donut. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're filling the gap left by Syads that uh, closed down when the old... Uh, owners retired. Was that over at the old shop, Easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Science was on Fen Road. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mid Eastern. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, good stuff. I've been there a couple of times. Uh, they're, they're building the variety of the prod uh, products. Best of all, they've got Bosterma. They promised me they're going to get La Majun. So I have no a, idea what you're saying. Bosterma, uh, La Majun. Uh, what did you say? Uh, but Bosterma is a cured, dried, spiced beef. Okay. It is a delicacy. You slice it paper thin. Very good. Very mm -hmm. good. I've looked at the recipe and decided it's a lot easier to spend the money and buy it than try to make it myself, which mm -hmm. takes about six weeks mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. drying. So I'll let somebody else do all that. And La Majun, of course, is the Armenian pizza. Really? Uh, La Majun? Yes, with uh, ground lamb and uh, vegetables and spices. Absolutely delicious. And this is all going to be happening at this Mediterranean market? Yeah. They've been in business for, I want to say, at least six months, if not longer now. Now, I what was the place that just that closed over next to Dunkin' Donuts over West Hill there, that, that uh, corner there? Oh, that was the Asia Market. They relocated that building's going to become a uh, medical office. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they relocated. So yeah. Was... They, they relocated, I think, to Cromwell. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
There, the emphasis was more on Indian food. Okay, okay. Yeah, Where Mediterranean is... Greek, Mideastern. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wow, that should be yeah. interesting. They do sandwiches as uh -huh. well. Uh-huh. And... Uh, what about the Jamaican place on the uh, Berlin Turnpike? How's that been, doing? I've, I've been there a couple of times. Uh -huh. I haven't been, had a chance to get back there. But yeah. they're still going strong, which uh -huh. is good. That's uh -huh. good. They're, they're pulling the clientele in. That, for some reason, it seemed to be a tough location. Yep, yep. But uh, these folks seem to be making a go mm -hmm. of it, and that's a good thing. I hope I'm not jinxing them by talking about it. And we got Chick-fil-A. Looks like they're really Ch doing Ch a lot of construction Chick -fil -A, over there. They're, they're going great guns. They want to get that thing up and running. And uh, Now, that's more of a planning and zoning issue. That's not like a Joe's, Joe's area at all. Joe's no, strictly that's town a, stuff, that's right? A, that, was, that was planning and zoning. Yeah, all that has been... Uh, Taken care of now. It's more a matter of the construction. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I thought I saw something about it and I, about Chick Fil A. Wasn't there some talk about Bonefish too, or is that Bonefish still staying empty? Uh, I just gonna check and see what I can oh. find for you right here. See if I've got anything on it. Uh, da, 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 da. We should put them in the town hall. What do you think? Hey, there you go. Have them run a concession. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, they, isn't there Dunkin' Donuts at the uh, at the police station? Is that, New Britain doesn't at the, the, the uh, yeah. community center or something like that. In, in the uh, police department. Yeah. In the Britain. I wouldn't be surprised. It can be done. No, <laughs> I take that back. I don't have any notes on that. Okay. I don't have any notes on that at all. <laughs> And yeah. what about our um, any uh, any vibes on like the old empty properties like Toys R Us or anything like that? Any nothing uh, yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. The old uh, thirty three thirty three Berlin Turnpike, the old Eversource facility, that's down. There's a new owner. So wait a minute. Oh you, Oh, you mean the smart thing over by um, across from uh, the Salvation or the um, Salvation Army? No. Yeah, it was uh, up on the hill there, right? No, it's down. It was. Uh, it's on the uh, Best Buy side of the highway. Oh, okay, I got you. That I got you. area. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, that that's down. There's a new owner, planning construction, retail, and uh, some upscale housing as well on top of the retail. Upscale housing in the Berlin Turnpike? Yeah. Let me think about that for a minute. <laughs> don't, we, don't we have that with uh, the Grandmore right now? Not anymore. That's not, a, that's not, not anymore. upscale housing. Grandmore used to be quite the classy place. That was, I mean... Back when they had the four-hour short stay. No, 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 no before no, that. No, 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 back before 91. <laughs> that's right. Back when, yeah. back when uh, the, the golf tournament was big. Oh, yeah. Right, the weather it was named after club. Bobby Grant. That's right. Oh, it was? Bobby Grant. The uh, parking lot. Yeah. And the My Walmart building. Uncle. And the, uh, that was a par three <laughs> golf course. Oh, really? It was a part three golf course, uh, where the houses are Well, now. of course, that was, and, then, and talk about the 60s, that was the place. I mean, that, that, was, that was gorgeous. It was a very nice place. The, the, the professional golfers would stay there when they were playing in Willis Field at the, uh, the golf tournament. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, was the, was the Insurance was City open back insurance then? Insurance City open. Yep. I, yep. I worked grounds crew for a couple of the tournaments there. Yeah, that was, uh, boy, that was uh, that was quite a thing back then, yeah, Insurance City Open. That was a big yep. thing. They're, they're down in Cromwell now. Mm -hmm. it's, yep, the Travelers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Travelers, boy, oh whatever. Boy. You, it went from Insurance City, it was Cannon, Sammy Davis. Oh, that was when Sammy Davis was yeah. coming? Oh, my gosh, that, they put on a big party for that one. Oh, yeah. That was really, really great. He had his own party going, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He did, apparently, from the stories that oh, were told. Oh, my God, I mean, he just brought so much... So much pizzazz to that tournament. It was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Hey, you know we're saying goodbye to Gail Whitney, don't you? See you later, Gail! <laughs> oh, no. When's she leaving? She's, uh, I think it's uh, next week. Oh, we got to get her in. Having up. We got to see if she can come in. Well, we, we can see. Yeah. She, but she's retiring after 18 years oh, with the chamber. God. That's she right. I saw that on the uh, Newington Life, right? That's right. And uh, <clears throat> her replacement's been appointed, Pete Forsalina who I knew when he was a sales rep for Wang Laboratories, and uh, Newington was one of his clients. Wang Laboratories, yeah. wow. Yeah, remember Wang Labs? Yeah. Were you on the council back in the days of Wang Labs? So, uh... Boy, he could tell us some stories. Oh, yeah. The council was really like back then. <laughs>
Those are the days, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. that, that's when budget sessions go to 2 or 3 in the morning. Well, I understand Frank Conley's coming to the library. He writes books now. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Thursday. Really? Is it this week? The yeah. Intrigue in Newington is the title that's right. of this one. No kidding. That's right. That'd probably be 7 o'clock. Uh, the, the, the author, he's the author of a fictional work on... Um, Oh, the, the, the seamy side of planning and zoning. Something. Ah, yes, 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 yes. And, the, uh, seedy, the seedy side? The seamy side. Oh, seamy. Okay, sorry seamy, about that. Seamy side. <laughs> I haven't read the book. I don't know what it's. Mm -hmm. what yeah, I got to tell you, though, the uh, I was very impressed within the last few weeks I've been over to the library. Yeah. And only because I was, you know, I was at a bookstore. And I looked at the amount of money that books cost, and I'm not ready to oh, do the yeah. nook thing and all that kind of stuff, no. you know. And I, um, I said, why, well, you know, I, so what I did was I, this is a good idea, I'm telling you. Take pictures, go into a bookstore, take the pictures of the books you like. Then you go over to the library, yeah. and you go, hey, man, there's books. And I was surprised, they had quite a few of them. Oh, yeah. And if they didn't have them, they could get them for me. Yep. And then they told me how to um, do the download thing on my iPhone. Which I had no idea about that. You can get audio books on there. You oh, take yeah. you take them out for three weeks, like you would in there. Yep. And then uh, now I have another one that I'm uh, that you can you know read like that. Really, really neat. But I was so surprised at, at all the things that the library has to offer now. You know, oh, really, really. Yeah. I couldn't find a life. Uh, maybe, I had maybe, no maybe, library card. It was bad. Maybe it's time to get Lisa back in here. Lisa Maston, library director. Oh yes, I. I that's right. She. Um, yeah, she she uh, yeah she asked me to step aside. It was a, it was a problem with a book that didn't come back in 1967. But oh, I think we got right. to <laughs> boy the See, boy the, the, they, they never forget the fees on the, that. The, thing. They're, they're coming up with their uh, annual friends wine tasting silent auction. Thing. Uh huh. Uh, that's in January, and off the top of my head, I don't have the date. So on our December 3rd program, we'll make oh, sure. We should know to about that. Yep, it. yep. And maybe we bring in the new person from the uh, chamber. Yeah, well, that sounds like a good idea. We say goodbye to Gail and yeah. to all of her hard work. I'll tell you something. I was with the chamber, you know, you remember, way back. And uh, there was, uh, um, before we had somebody like Gail overseeing everything, yeah. we didn't have an office. Um, I think George Maceield, back in his place, kept an eye on things behind Market yeah. Square for a while uh -huh. in his office. But... We didn't have a, a nice storefront like we have now, and yeah. you know, really, it's nice to see that's all still going to be maintained, but run by somebody oh, else, yeah. right? Yeah, and they, they they did a very nice job uh, with the chamber's annual wine tasting, chocolate tasting. Yet the wait a uh, minute, somebody else is drink a lot of wine drinking at this time. Just tell me, the library was drinking wine too? No, the the library will be drinking wine. The chamber already <laughs> drank wine. Uh, I think that was. Uh, the weekend before the election at uh, the old G. Fox <laughs> That explains a lot. <laughs> the old G. Fox building. They, uh, oh, yeah, that's downstairs there. Oh, that was very nice. They, they hit me and others up for baskets mm -hmm. of our favorite things. So I think, what the heck are my favorite things? So Is anything you can talk about here on television? Yeah. Uh, some nice cigars, even though I'm not supposed to say cigars yeah, on yeah. the air. Bird calls? No bird calls. Uh, I mentioned the nice cigars. Uh, and uh, some cans of this uh, hard cider I first found in Vermont and is now available locally. It's made by Citizen Cider. And the reason I started drinking is I saw the name. I said, I can't, I can't go buy it. Let this go. Yeah. It's called Dirty Mayor. Dirty Mayor? Dirty Mayor. And we'll be back with more <laughs> of the Dirty Mayor right after this. So uh, put some cans of that in. I put in a fountain pen and some nice pads. and I think that was about it. Oh, good. What yeah. was this basket called? The Mayor's Choice or something? Yeah. Or? My favorites. Mayor's favorites. Mm-hmm. So, well, that's great. That's yeah. great. Wow. Yeah. Well, I think, um, you know, the, the fact that people get involved with these kind of things is wonderful. Of course, we have the big trick-or-treat here in town, too. With the, uh, Did they do that with, for the chamber this year? Uh, go, I believe they going did, around the, yeah. Well, yeah, they go to, I think it's for the business uh, for downtown uh, Newark or something. I, I, I don't know as it was formally organized, but I guess there were businesses doing it as kids were yep, going around. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And I went over and I tried that new uh, that new place next to Goldberger's. What is it, uh, five, five and, and Dime? Five and Dime. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, isn't that nice? 
Boy, it was a great, food was great, and the people behind the counter could have been nicer. Good. Everybody was so, so good, came over and chit-chat and everything. It was really, really that good. That was, uh, interestingly enough, uh, restaurants in the center was one of the subjects brought up when I was on the Ray Dunaway show. I remember I listened to you on there. Ago. Yep, yep. Yeah. Love that WTIC 10 You betcha. The, the Mayor's Minute or... Yep, yep. Or, Ma Mayor Monday. Or Mayor Monday. Yep, That's yep. what it was. That's what it was. And... Uh, yeah, I always enjoy doing things like that, yeah. promoting the town. Yeah. And it was uh, I know there was Mayor Monday today, and it was a little tricky because I guess the Mayor Bloomfield was supposed to be calling in, and she was running a little behind. But what you don't realize is when you're running a radio station like that, you the more run you're running behind, behind, the less time you're going to be on that's the radio. Right. <laughs> I had a lot more to say, but I got cut off. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what happens. It's like, I you know, know, traffic and weather together. That's all you're going to do. I mean, it was really, uh, but you did a nice job on there. Thank you. I said, hey, that's Thank my mayor in there. You betcha. Well, I think there's a lot of a lot of good stuff coming. Uh, it's and, and, Joe, I can't thank you enough for coming Absolutely. in. Because uh, right. to really put a good handle on what's happening. So now it's going to be going out to, to bid. And nothing could stop it from here, right? Right through, right? Not a problem, I right? Don't, I, we don't foresee anything. I mean, and if we, something happens with the money, mm -hmm. then we have to go to referendum again, right? No. We'll, no? We will uh, adjust the project. Oh, I like. We'll we'll adjust the project. Yeah, you Come know, over the, here. the referendum will cost us what another thirty, forty thousand oh. dollars just to run the. Yeah, I, I, we don't foresee that being necessary based on the numbers we're looking at now. I think we're going to be in really good shape. Yeah, and I mean, the, and it's, I'm glad to see that the town finally got on board because yeah. the longer we waited on these things, the more and more money it was going to cost. I should tell you, within quickly within the budget itself, there's two point seven million in contingency. So what does that mean? Contingency. If something should happen out in the field that costs more money or that okay. something doesn't perform the way it should, you know, you never know, right? Yep, it's yep. a project like life. Anything can yep. come up and bite you. Yeah, yeah. We've got money to protect that. Yeah. Totally. It's in his wallet. So it's we, in his uh, checking account. The mayor's got that. And then by the end of June of 2020, you'll be going to a grand opening. Be what? You'll be coming to a grand opening. That's Looking right. forward to it. All right. All right. We want to thank all of our uh, volunteers tonight: John Donahue, Scott Allo, Ted Rosencrantz, of course, with Vicky, uh, Robert J. Blank, and Robert Blank. And of course, uh, without Michael Rosencrantz not being here tonight, there's no Michael. Where's Michael? All right. Well, Michael, we appreciate you being out there and doing all the research you have for the program. All right, uh, Joe Harpy, thank you. Thank you, Steve, for the good work you, you do. Joe. Yep. Mayor, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Give me a shake there. Thank All right, sir. good seeing you. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much. Our next program will be on Monday, December 3rd at 7 o'clock. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns between now and then, you can call and leave us a message at 860-667-5814. You can always see the mayor at his office on Thursdays. Thursday, 5.30 to 6.30 in my office or 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the Senior Center. On Thursday also? On Thursday. All right. And what's the uh, phone number for your office if people have a, a want to leave a question? 860-665-8510. All right. So if you have anything, or you can also email us anytime at talk to the mayor at nctv.org. Talk to the mayor at nctv.org. Everybody have a happy Thanksgiving, and thanks here, a lot here. for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. All the Thank best you. to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. All right, we'll, uh, we'll catch you December 3rd right here on your community access television station, NCTV 14 and 16. That's right. it. We're out of here.